Hi, I have recently tested both the Dreamy L10 Ultra and the Roborock Q Revo, links in the description. And since they are extremely similar in basically every way, I figured I'd just share my two cents in which one to pick. First, like I mentioned, the two robots are incredibly similar. Both base stations support auto-emptying of the robot's dust containers, as well as emptying of dirty water and refilling of clean water. Both base stations also clean the mopping heads after a finished cleaning session. For the robots, the only real difference is the maximum suction power that is 5,500 pascals on the Q Revo, whereas the Alton Ultras is 5,300 pascal. But in all honesty, I noticed zero difference between the results here. The vacuuming brushes differ somewhat in the design, but result-wise they have been performing equally good. Battery life is spec'd 20 minutes more for the q Revo with a total of 180 minutes compared to the L10 Ultra's 160 minutes. However, during real-world tests I found their battery life to be roughly similar. Other than that, they are basically the same when talking about functionality. The apps too are very similar and clearly based on the same software. However, here I would argue that the Roborox app is somewhat more developed when it comes to translation and the overall layout. Out. Not by a far stretch, but by a little. So when it comes to actual cleaning, I'd say go with either one. Both delivers a good cleaning result for both vacuuming and mopping, and both have the same issues, namely being loose smaller objects on the floor, like cables, and in some cases getting on top of more loose lying rugs and carpets. The only real place the vacuum robots actually differs is somewhat in the design and build quality. Here I am a little bit torn. I, for some reason, like the more rugged look of the Q Revo, and it's also a little bit easier to empty the base station water containers without having to lift up an extra top lid, as is the case with the L10 Ultra. Also worth mentioning is that the water tanks of the Q Revo's base station is larger and hold more water than the L10 Ultra. However, you still want to empty and fill them up every now and then anyways, especially the dirty water one to avoid bacteria and odor buildup. On the other side here, the design of the Elton Ultra, both regarding the base station and the robot, is a lot more sleek, and the base station also has a somewhat smaller footprint, making it take up less space. However, the q Rebel robot does make a bit more rattling noises as it cleans, mostly when going over thresholds and carpet edges and such, something that is due to the front bumper sitting a bit more loose than what it does on the Elton Ultra, but again, it's not anything major in any way. So, like I mentioned several times now, both vacuums are ridiculously similar in basically every way. If I were to pick one, I'd honestly go for the one which has the best deal at the moment. And if they were priced exactly the same, which they are sometimes, I'd recommend picking the one you think looks the best in your home. For me, I'd probably then go with the Q Revo, only though because it feels that Roborock has a more somewhat clean and developed app solution. However, I am more a fan of the not so much rattling front bumper on the Elton Ultra, so it is an extremely close call. My girlfriend, for example, said she'd pick the Elton Ultra any day over the Q Revo purely based on design. So yeah, it basically comes down to what you subjectively like. I hope my thoughts could help you in any way regarding which one to pick for you. Again, they are both extremely capable and you probably won't go wrong with either one. Please share any questions in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Bye.